Hi everyone, welcome back to Gabby's Nails Though. I know this is a little bit different of a setup for the intro to my videos, but I just don't have time to sit down and record me chatting and talking. But I do talk throughout my video and I tell you what I'm doing and I explain it, so I think that's enough. This is a holiday set that I did and I think it looks so cute and you don't even need to do the candy cane thing. You could just do the bubble effect and it looks like snow on the nail and I really like the embellishment that I added to the pointer finger nails. So hopefully you guys like it as well. Please hit that like and please hit that subscribe. I would really appreciate it and enjoy the video. Here I am using my hand file to take down some of the acrylic that I just applied around the cuticle area so that it is smooth and there's more of a seamless finish when my nail grows out. I'm also just going to buff over the full nail to prep for gel polish application. Here I'm using a brush to take the debris off of my nails from filing to get them ready for gel polish. It's time to get to the gel polish. I already put on my OPI gel base coat, so that's why my nails are a little bit shiny. I'm going to start with this Elite 99 red gel polish. Here's the color, as you can see, pretty dark. And I'm also going to use some white from Elite 99 as well. So I have two coats of red on my nails and I have one coat of white. I'm going to do another coat and then I'm going to try out this new method that people are doing and it creates a very cool effect. You use bubbles, apparently just regular bubbles from regular soap and water and you put it over the gel polish before you cure it in your UV LED lamp. So I'm hoping that this works. I'm kind of going to put a lot just to see how, you know, it works out, but who knows because I don't, I really don't know if this is even going to work. I hope it does. I think it would be really cool if it did work. So who knows? So I have this little bottle of suds here and I'm kind of just going to pour some onto my nail. Hopefully this is it. I mean, I don't really know. I kind of just saw people doing this and having this on their nail and then putting it in their lamp and letting it do its thing. But my nail, full nail isn't really covered, so let me try to cover it all so that I get the full effect, you know? I'm gonna do more, why not? Load it up.
All right, that's pretty covered. It's gonna go in the UV LED lamp now and I'll show you right after. Here's what it looks like after taking my nail out of the lamp. So this stuff is dry. I'm just gonna wipe off the suds and see if anything happened. Oh my God! Oh my God, you can't see it. Here, let me try to pat this down and I could show you guys better, hopefully with different lighting. Kind of see the effect there and there, the bubbles. There, that's a good shot right there. You can see what I mean, right? The little bubbles and the effect that it gave. Wow, okay, so it worked. Um, awesome. <laughs> I honestly didn't know if it would work, but it did. And uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Awesome. It kind of looks like snow in my opinion that's what i was going for but i have seen other people do it and they try to make it look more like crocodile skin or something like that so it has made the nail look more rounded than it should be so i'm kind of just gonna use my file to make it look more squared Wow, okay. There you can see it a little bit as well on the side. But okay, pretty cool effect. Interesting, it feels just bumpy basically. So what I wanna do is put some chrome effect over this. And I have this very cute unicorn chrome from a nail box that I would like to try over this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I should have opened this earlier. Now I'm gonna ruin my nails. Kinda ruined my nails, awesome. So this is kind of leaking and it's kind of everywhere in here. So I don't really need to take that out. I just need to use the excess of what was on here and run it over this. Oh wow, okay, it's working. I'll have to put it at a different angle for you guys to fully see because you can't really see right now, unfortunately. But this looks so freaking awesome. Wow, super impressed. Very happy with this effect. Hopefully you can see it there. You can kind of see it there, there. A picture will be able to get this effect much better because it looks so, so cool, honestly. Okay, on to the next. So for my pinky finger, I'm going to take some white gel polish and just put it on this plastic surface here so I have something to work off of. Put a nice little dollop of it there. I got this kit from Amazon with a bunch of different brushes for gel polish and for adding glitter to the nail, but what I'm going to use this for right now is making nice stripes on the nail. So here, I'm going to actually take two brushes out, these two. Hopefully they'll give me a different effect. So what I want to do is put some candy cane stripes on this nail. I want it to be a thin white line and then a thick white line and a little bit of space and then a thin white line and a thick white line and keep on doing that pattern over and over. So let's use these two tools to do that. So this is going to probably have the thicker effect, I'm hoping. So let's see if that works out. All right, there's one thick line. 
Let's hope this continues to work. So I think these two are good. I don't want to do any more and mess it up. So I'm just kind of going to wipe off that brush and put it to the side. So now I'm going to use this thinner striping brush and try to do the thinner stripes. If it doesn't look good, I can always redo it. So let's just try it. Let's see. Alright, that basically worked. It's not perfect, but it's the effect I was going for, so I'm happy about that. Alright, that's what it's going to be, guys. So I really like this candy cane striped nail. I think that's really cute. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my gem gel adhesive right over here to apply some rhinestones and some little silver balls onto my pointer finger. So I really hope this comes out well. I think it will look really nice if I end up doing it properly. So I'm gonna kind of like anchor my finger on this so that it's a little bit easier to do and hopefully you guys can see that well. Don't mind this extra gel polish down here. I will fix that later. So let's apply some gem gel adhesive where I want the big rhinestone to go. And I kind of want that like right in the center. So there that is. I'm gonna use my trusty little rhinestone tool to grab a rhinestone from here and place it directly on that gem gel adhesive in the middle of my nail. All right, so let me see. I gotta move it a little bit over. From where I am, this looks pretty centered. Awesome. Now for some more gem gel adhesive, I'm going to apply some on the edges right here because I want to create a line of silver balls there and also on the other side. And then also around the rhinestone itself, I'm gonna place some adhesive. All right, I really hope this is enough for these little balls to stick. Put some extra for good measure, who knows? Who knows if this will work or not? But okay, so now that that's on, I will use this tool again to pick up these balls and just kind of align them around the rhinestone. It's a tedious process. I have done this before and it is tedious like I said, but it comes out so nice. It looks so good with like the little detail and it just looks great. So I think it's worth the time and effort All right, and now for the line that's going to go towards the edge of the nail. Let's do that.
So the final step here is to apply some top coat gel. So I'm gonna do that. 